Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I have a extremely exciting video for you today. I decided to film my nighttime skincare routine. So this is basically my really, really extra, really, really bougie skincare routine. I would typically only ever do this regime maybe once a week, once every two weeks, maybe even once a month depending on when I can fit it in. This is just like the most extra of extra skincare routines when you literally feel like you want your face to feel like you've had a proper facial and you've been to a spa. And just get rid of all those clogged pores and just make yourself feel like your skin is brand new again. Skincare has always been a huge passion of mine ever since I was a teenager. If you didn't know, I have said a few times on this channel, I haven't really explained properly, but I had extremely bad acne when I was a teenager all the way up until probably about last year so for about 15 years I had extremely bad acne so I kind of like had skincare instilled into me and my mum is extremely passionate about skincare as well so she kind of passed that on to me as well so yeah I definitely know what I'm talking about when it comes to my skincare I think I know more about skincare than I do about fashion or makeup if you want to see what I use to refresh my skin at night then please keep on watching so first off I like to tie my hair back from my face and get ready for the cleansing situation that's about to happen. So this is just a little overview of the products I'm gonna to use tonight. I know it looks like a lot and it looks very complicated, but I promise you it's very simple when I break it down and I'm gonna be using quite a range of budgets. So there is something for everyone in this. So I'm gonna first off start with a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm. These are typically what I like to use to remove my makeup just because I think it's a lot more gentler on the skin. There's this one from Burt's Bees, which is lovely, but a little bit stingy on the eyes. And then my favorite is the Emma Hardy cleansing balm, which is just so beautiful, it smells amazing. You barely need anything. And it's the one cleansing balm that really, really, really takes off all kinds of makeup makeup, even waterproof mascara, which is very, very stubborn. So you just want to really gently rub that onto your skin. Um, you can really go to town on this, put it all over your eyes. And then I just gently wash that off with some warm water. Next, I'm gonna move on to what I call the proper cleanse. So this is the cleanse that actually properly cleans your skin. So I tend to stick more to hot cloth cleansers. Uh, my ultimate favorite has to be the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. It's such a staple in my skincare routine. You guys know about Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. It's just an amazing product. There's also this one from The Sanctuary, which is a little bit cheaper. The Alpha H Triple Action Cleanser is also great for oily skin. And then this Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser is a great drugstore cleanser cleanser. Today I'm going to take the Sanctuary Polishing Hot Cloth Cleanser and just rub a really small amount all over my skin. You can put it over your eyes if you wish and yeah just give that a little rub and then I'm going to just take the muslin cloth and run that under some warm water and really really gently just take off the rest of any excess makeup, any excess oils and this will make your skin feel so so clean. So after that I'm going to move on to some kind of random products and these are kind of I would say fall into the exfoliating category so first of all there's this super drug glycolic cleansing pill which is kind of like a mask that you just rub off there's also this one from alpha h it's a gentle daily exfoliant it's kind of like a powder that turns into a liquid there's also the emma hardy seeds product which is really beautiful as well but today i'm going to take the super drug glycolic peel which is a really cool product that i've been really enjoying and yeah i'm just going to take a little tiny amount and rub that onto my nose the sides of my nose my forehead and my chin any Anywhere that I feel like I produce a little bit more oil so I feel like there's a little bit more of a buildup onto my skin I just want to put that onto your skin and leave that for around about three minutes I'm gonna just have a little scroll through my Instagram and then just take your muslin cloth again and just scrub that off. And that's gonna make you feel so, so clean and so, so fresh. So next we're moving on to some of my favorite masks. So the Alpha H Glycolic Hydrating Mask is one of my absolute favorites. I think that has a new name now. I will link it down below. There's also one from Aldi, one from Mario Badescu and a moisturizing one from The Sanctuary. So today I'm gonna to take the Aldi Charcoal Mask and just use that on my T-zone and anywhere I feel needs a little bit of TLC when it comes to oil and build up, which is pretty much everywhere at the moment. And then just for a little bit of moisturization, I'm gonna take the Alpha H Glycolic Mask and put that on the outsides of my face. This mask smells so beautiful, just like a little lavender field. And I like to use a brush just cause I'm a little bit bougie and it feels really nice and sparry and fancy. Pam. So you're going to leave these all to set for about 15 minutes. You can do what you want, wander around. I just go and chill with my dogs and, don't know, just go chat to people in my house and annoy everyone and hang out and, yeah. 
and you then want to take this mask off. Some people like to use cloths, muslin cloths. I just like to use water. So the next step is toners. Now, my all-time favorite toner is the Alpha H Liquid Gold. This is such a classic and it has got a bit of a price tag, but I think it's totally worth it. It's also the Pixi Glow Tonic, which is about half the price and has very similar ingredients, so it essentially does a very similar job. There's also the Liz Earl Skin Tonic, which is a little bit more hydrating when I'm feeling a little bit more sensitive. So you just want to put that onto a cotton pad and just kind of really gently rub that all onto your skin. Next, I'm moving on to night oils and serums. My absolute favorite has to be this one from Marlon & Goetz. It's 62 pounds, but it is so beautiful. Then there's the Clarins Double Serum, which is also really gorgeous. The Pixie Rose Oil, which is pretty much a third of the price and also the Time Bomb Complexion Cocktail. I'm just gonna take four or five drops of the Marlin & Goex Recovery Treatment Oil and just really gently rub that onto my skin and onto my neck. Next, we're moving on to eye creams. I am not fussy when it comes to my eye creams. I just kind of grab whatever is lingering around in mine or my mom's drawers. So I've got this one from Superdrug, Declior, Emma Hardy, Estee Lauder, Prey, and Pericone. As long as it's moisturizing, then it's gonna do the trick. So today I'm just gonna take this one from Superdrug and just take a really tiny pea-sized amount onto my ring fingers, gently rub them together, and then really, really gently swipe that under the eyes and just above the eyelids. So one of the last steps is night creams. Now this is one of the most important steps, I believe, in my opinion. I have one from Aldi, which is our budget option. I have one from Espa, which is very pricey. And then I have two from Elemis. So I'm gonna take the one from Aldi and you wanna take a fair amount and just start to rub that all over your skin. This is very important for your nighttime skincare routine because it's gonna lock that moisture back into your skin. And I just rub that all over my neck as well because I'm so terrified of getting an old neck. And just to finish it off, I'm gonna take this little lip balm from Nivea, just rub that all over my lips, and I am ready for me bedtime. So guys, that was my bougie as bougie gets for nighttime skincare routines. As I said in the beginning, this is not something that I do very often, but it is a way to really refresh your skin and get it feeling just really clean and starting from a fresh face. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, then please give it a little thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And if you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me know if you have any other suggestions down below, if you want me to film my daytime skincare routine. Thank you so much for watching, guys. You you are absolutely amazing and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one.